Well, basically, what I think is, you know, especially that upfront um, coming in at the front end of a contract bid, basically, you're, you're divulging who you're giving your money to. Now, how is it that they could possibly not use that information? I, that's one of the things that just seemed to get away from me from our first panelist, Mr. Gordon. Very dangerous. Well, and as we heard, there's no actual valid use for it, and yet they kept insisting that transparency would be required and never address the harm that it clearly could cause, as our second uh, panel of witnesses made clear. Well, I'll, I'll just say, you know, from, from my perspective, I, again, and, and I pointed out um, during the, the hearing that I really feel that this is more of, of a um, retaliatory um, response to Citizens United um, Supreme Court decision, and that, that in fact what we're trying to do is, is um, show where money is going in a, in a transparent way, as they have said, did not happen in that court decision. It, it's just a, it's just a terrible situation, and you know I'm I'm happy to hear that there's some opposition to it on the other side as well. And I think the uh, Democratic leaders, both in the House and the Senate, that have come out against this shows that this really is an overreach that even makes uh, very partisan uh, leaders of the House and Senate uh, and the Democratic side uncomfortable. That's a very good question. Um, you know, I, I think as an American, you have the right to give money to any entity you want to. And, you know, it, even if it is um, political, and, and I think that this really does infringe upon First Amendment rights. I think that this is information that does not need to be divulged. And I can understand through the process, um, as, as so many need to divulge afterwards, you know, for the American people to see. I just don't understand why the process has to be put in place ahead of time. As we also heard today, uh, the question of what you'd be divulging, if a director gave to the American Lung Association and then the American Lung Association went out, let's say, against tobacco or in mm -hmm. some other political move, you could find a director thinking he gave to a charity but violating the law by not disclosing it. Absolutely. It's just very dangerous ground to be getting into. I found it, especially there again in Mr. Gordon's testimony, um, he continued to say that this was about transparency for the American people and that, that this was a good thing for, for the American people to see and that we were all about transparency. And yet I found it conflicting because there were times when he discussed the fact that some things would be able to be divulged and some things would not. And I just don't understand how this helps the situation. How is it that we're fixing something that's broken? I, I don't believe that that's the case. And certainly we saw that the best value for the American people is a maximum amount of competitors providing the lowest cost. And we saw no demonstration that this would further that. Uh, just the opposite. We saw that this could have a chilling effect. And uh, it's a great concern. We think it needs to be rethought.